All right. Good afternoon and welcome to everyone joining us for today's Concordance Desktop Webinar featuring our guest speaker, Courtney Hamilton, LexisNexis Litigation Sales Solution Architect. As a solutions architect, Courtney provides consultation and assistance to new clients with the Case Map Suite and with Concordance Desktop. Today we will be reviewing the new features in Concordance Desktop. My name is Katie Kiger and I'm a marketing manager here at LexisNexis and I'll be your host for today's session. The format for today's webinar is a presentation provided by Courtney followed by a question and answer period. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them via the questions pane located on your webinar control panel and during the last 15 minutes of the session, Courtney will answer your questions. And Courtney, at this time, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you, Katie. Um, welcome everyone to What's New in Concordance Desktop. Um, today's webinar, again, will highlight just some of the new features that are in Concordance Desktop that makes it a little bit different than the traditional um, Concordance 1020 or 1021, whichever one that you may be using. So first and foremost, what is Concordance Desktop? Concordance Desktop is a tool that provides electronic discovery litigation document management, and litigation support. It was designed to make it easier to identify, organize, analyze, and maintain your case critical information so that you can collaborate and share across your firm and elsewhere. So what are some of the new features in Concordance Desktop? Well, first and foremost, we have implemented a concordance administrative console. And the new um, admin console provides administrators with better insight into and control over databases and administrative tasks. The admin co console also allows the administrator to handle um, licensing. The administrator can manage and track databases. Um, the big one was killing user sessions for Bob that may leave the database open on a Friday afternoon at 5, you can now kill his user session. Um, and we also have some logging features as well so that you can see what is taking place um, not just on the server but also in the admin console as well. There are also some other uses um, for the administrative console and I'll cover a few of those during today's demonstration. Concordance Desktop also um, contains some new and exciting features and functionality. So we have a new and improved import um, engine which will import your files much faster and you also have the option to skip near native PDF creation for Concordance Desktop databases as well as any databases that are migrated to um, Concordance Desktop. We have an optimization feature and I'll talk about that in more detail as well as the data overlay. I have a slide for that as well. We've made enhancements to the user interface and these enhancements are going to be continuous. So there are some in Concordance Desktop um, 1.1, the version that I will show you today, and those enhancements will continue um, with any further updates to Concordance Desktop. Concordance Desktop now integrates directly with Law Pre-Discovery version 6.11. Um, the import, or the export rather, is done on the Law side and this will allow you to have a completed Concordance Desktop database directly from Law Pre-Discovery if that is the program that you are using. And lastly, we have um, drag and drop functionality and that kind of ties into um, appending records and also the data overlay feature which I'll go into more detail about in just a moment. Optimization is um, a new feature that was included in Concordance Desktop, more so in this iteration of Concordance Desktop. In traditional Concordance, you would have a near native PDF rendering of your documents automatically. Now with Concordance Desktop, when importing a load file, you can opt to skip the processing to PDF. Skipping this process will make the import faster because there's no processing taking place. Also, since PDF processing is optional for the load file database, that's where we brought in optimization. 
So the entire database can be optimized or you can query on the database to only optimize certain files or any files that may be problematic. the dat file drop operation um, to overlay. So with the drag and drop, we can drag and drop to append um, information to databases. Um, you can drop edocs to edocs, a dat file to append information to a load file database. But most importantly, we have brought back the overlay feature. And the overlay in Concordance Desktop um, is actually a little bit different than it was in traditional concordance and the fact that, in my opinion, it's easier. In concordance desktop, we can drag and drop a DAT file onto a load file database to get this dialog box, which will ask us either if we want to append or overlay, um, basically meaning to update any existing records. And this process has been simplified to make it easier and a lot faster for the administrators to make those changes in the actual database. And lastly, some additional information about Concordance Desktop. Um, Concordance Desktop is now certified to run on Windows 10 and Windows Server 2012. Um, with your e-document databases, you can do bait stamping now at import. Concordance Desktop has also implemented what we call a registration directory where you can drop your databases into a um, specific path in Windows Explorer and it will go ahead and register those databases in the admin console for you. And lastly, a simplified licensing structure. And if you have any questions regarding how the licenses work, um, definitely feel free to reach out to your sales rep and they will be glad to provide you with that additional information. So without further ado, I would like to jump into Concordance Desktop just to show you um, some of the new feature and function, features and functionality. We are now in a Concordance Desktop um, database. And the first thing you will notice is the user interface. It's still very similar to that of the traditional Concordance, um, but there have been enhancements in this version of Concordance Desktop primarily when we create databases. So by going to File, New, it prompts me to connect to the Concordance server and by clicking on Connect, the new database creation wizard appears. And we've changed the um, interface to make this more modern, to make it more appealing um, when you are going to create those databases. In terms of your load file databases, when we are creating a load file database, we are still specifying the database name as well as the DAT file in the OPT, but you do see this new feature here, do not process to PDF. This is the checkbox that you will select or deselect if you want to enable or disable um, PDF processing. Now again, you can disable the PDF processing because you can always go back into your database and optimize um, the entire database or optimize certain um, documents or even if you've run across a problem um, document that doesn't show in the Concordance Desktop Viewer, you can definitely optimize just that one so that it shows. So that's the um, pretty much the new part in the load file database creation. Um, Concordance Desktop also can OCR, so you don't necessarily have to use OCR text files anymore. We can also do that as well, all from this wizard. Also, by going back to File New and connecting, in terms of eDocuments, um, the Create eDocuments database this dialog really hasn't changed at all, but I do want to kind of start a new one just to show you how the bait stamping um, portion, or what it looks like rather. So I can select those files, and then I can also browse to a database location, in which I'll do so right here by creating a new folder, eDocs. And I will give this 
the name of eDocs1. So once I've selected the database location, I can then come and click Customize. And before, in traditional concordance, you had just your, you know, your starting number and your prefix, but now we've included a section for bait stamping. So if I change this to yes, I have the ability to put in a prefix, um, if I so choose, and a bait starting number. Once I have made those um, specifications, I can click OK at this point, and I can go ahead and start the import. Now again, the import in Concordance Desktop, it does a document conversion. You will see this um, with those e-documents. This is doing the processing, the near native, but it happens so quickly. And we can also have this database to index um, once it is finished creating at the end. So as I'm talking through this, you can see the bar moving and you will get this visual um, dialog box so that you can check the progress of that particular database. So now that the database is finalizing, it will index and also register in the admin console, which we will take a look at in just a moment. And we can open this database at this moment. And it's still the same as traditional. You can have multiple databases open at the same time. But I just want to scroll down, and there's the OCR text, and bring in our field. So I'll scroll back up for just a second. And you can see the beg no and the end no. So this is where your bait stamping is going. It's going in this field here. So those fields are created for you. There's nothing that you have to do other than specify that you want your documents bait stamped. The next new feature um, is the Concordance Admin Console. And this Admin Console installs with Concordance Desktop. There is no um, separate installation. Everything is streamlined. And we can connect to the Admin Console. And the first thing that we will see is the Concordance Server. And this essentially just shows us what's happening. So if we were um, creating a database, we would see um, the gauges on this server moving up and down, showing us that concordance is working, if that's something that you would like to keep an eye on. The management tab is where you would manage your user groups, your databases, clients, matters, as well as creating um, your users. We have a licenses tab so that the administrators can keep up with the licenses and just see what is being used. Connections. This is the interesting one. Um, as I mentioned, kind of in my introduction, you know, you, there's always a person um, at the firm that is just very notorious for leaving databases open. And if you have someone at your firm like that, you understand that when you need to do maintenance on the database, that everyone needs to be out. Well, we also thought about that as well. So in the admin console, we have incorporated a kill feature. And what happens with the kill feature, Bob could be 350 miles away at this point. He could, he's on the plane. He is gone. But his database is still open on his machine. As an administrator, you can open the admin console. You can see what user is connected to what database. And then you can kill their user session without messing anything up. So I think that is just very important um, for those occasions when you have Bob's in your workplace, you can kill those user sessions very easily. Um, we also have a tab for jobs where you can set maintenance jobs to run at a certain time. We have um, a settings option where we can change any settings. And lastly, we have the logs, the server log and the administrative console logs so that you can see what's happening on the server as well as in the admin console. So again, um, this just allows you to have that better insight into and control over um, your databases and administrative tasks. And we thought about that, and we included an administrative console in Concordance Desktop for that very purpose. So we'll just close. Well, I'll just flip back, because you can keep the admin console open, actually. It's not something that you actually have to close. Moving on to the optimization of documents. So in this particular database that I've created, I actually um, have near natives because it's an e-documents database. 
but in my CNDT database, I do not, and this is a load file database. So, for instance, if I open the desktop viewer, and let's say the document did not open for whatever reason. Well, this document has opened, so that's completely fine, but in the event that it did not, and we open the viewer, we could go to File, Administration, Optimize, and we can optimize the current document, the current query, or the entire database. So I will optimize the current document to show you essentially what it looks like. And for whatever reason, we'll jump back over here. Alrighty. And now we will open the viewer. And essentially it doesn't change because this was never a problem file. But if you had problem files and you open the desktop viewer, you would more than likely get an error message. And once you receive that error, if you chose to skip processing to PDF, you could optimize the document so that it would be viewable in the viewer so that you can do markups and anything else that you needed to do. You'll also notice the viewer. We do not have two separate viewers anymore. Um, concordance, desktop viewer, is basically a combination of Concordance Native Viewer and Concordance Image. It works with TIFFs, it works with PDFs, and you can redact, you can do any type of markups. You don't necessarily have to have one or the other. Everything is built into one, so you only have one viewer, and it installs with Concordance. There is no separate installation for the Concordance desktop viewer. And lastly, the probably, I wouldn't say the most important feature, but one that was highly sought after, especially by administrators, was the ability to update um, existing records in a database. So again, I am using the CNDT database, which is a load file database, and I have also added a field um, called status. And what I would like to do is update the status field for just certain records. So what I can do is go grab the file that I want and it is being really difficult right now. And I'll just grab this file off of my desktop. All right, so lastly is the um, DAT overlay. And the DAT overlay was one of the features that for a moment um, we didn't have in Concordance Desktop, but it was one of those features that we realized that administrators, they actually need it. Because there are going to be times, well, more than times, 98% of the time, there's going to be something in the database in terms of a field that needs to be updated with some type of information, and we wanted to give administrators a very easy and quick way to do that. So we brought back um, the DAT overlay, but instead of it being a menu option like it was in traditional concordance, you can just simply drag and drop a DAT file onto the database. So on my desktop, I have a DAT file here that I'm just going to drag over to my database. And now you can see the DAT file drop operation dialog. And we have two options. We can append if we want to, or we can do an overlay. So for this, I will select the overlay. It recognizes my key field according to what's in my DAT file. And it also recognizes the field that needs to be updated also because it is reading in the DAT file. And the only thing we have to do at this point is click Start. And it happens very quickly, and the database will re-index for you. And I can scroll down to my status field, and you can see where it says Reviewed. And that's how easy it is to update existing records in your databases. It happened in like three seconds. Um, and this database is fairly small, but the gist or it, it doesn't change. That's exactly how you do it, it's three mouse clicks. So it makes it very easy and we've streamlined that process so that essentially if your admin was out and there was someone else that pretty much could know how to do it, then it would be easy for them to do it as well. So we did bring that feature back for our administrators. Um, and lastly, um, 
again, like I mentioned, we are compliant with Windows 10 and Server 2012. So if you are on traditional concordance, traditional concordance at this time um, is not certified for Windows 10 or Server 2012, concordance desktop is. So if you are looking to upgrade your systems at your um, your firms, you may want to consider making the move to concordance desktop um, if you are planning on using Windows 10. And we have a simple install process. As I mentioned, the desktop viewer um, the admin console, all of that is wrapped into one single installation. Um, you don't have to worry about having an executable for a viewer or an executable for an admin console. We have basically bundled that into one install installation um, to make that a lot easier for you. And we've also unified um, concordance um, Concordance, FYI, and Concordance Native Viewer, and that's essentially what makes up Concordance Desktop, because you do still have the remote capability um, with Concordance Desktop like you would if you were using FYI, but it just works differently. You no longer need FYI because it's built in. Um, so that's another thing that you have over traditional concordance. If you have any questions, um, definitely please reach out and let us know if you would like to see more of concordance desktop. You can um, obviously you can go through support if you are a, cus um, a current customer. You can um, get that information from support. They can give you the information and they can also put you in touch with your sales rep or if you have direct communication with your sales rep, um, you can request a demo of Concordance Desktop so that you can see how it works and why it is something that you would want to implement at your firm. So at this time, I will turn this back over to Katie for any questions that we may have. All right, wonderful. Well, thank you, Courtney, for your very informative session. This does conclude the presentation portion of our webinar. So as a reminder, if you do have any questions for Courtney, please feel free to ask them via the questions pane located on your webinar control panel. And I know we already have a few questions coming in. Our first question is, can my Concordance 1021 cases be migrated into Concordance Desktop? The answer is yes. You can migrate um, Concordance 1021 databases using either Concordance Native Viewer or Concordance Image into um, Concordance Desktop. All right, wonderful. So uh, our next question is, if I'm a current Concordance customer on maintenance, why am I not getting this release for free? The Concordance desktop application essentially is a new product. Um, this is not a Concordance 1023 or 1022. This is a completely new product, so it's being um, sold as a new product. Um, that's why it's a completely different, that's why it's not free essentially. It would, it's, a, it's new, so it's a new product. All right, great. Um, my next question is, if I'm on Concordance now, how quickly will I be able to get up to speed if I switch, and how easy is it to switch? Um, it is fairly easy to switch, and the learning curve is also slim to none. Um, we still highly recommend training um, with any new software application. You definitely want to get trained on it, especially because there are new um, features in Concordance Desktop, i.e. the admin console, um, that you may want some training on. But it's fairly easy. Um, it can be installed side by side with Concordance 1021, and it's a very easy um, install. It's actually the same install the same way you would install 1021 is the same way you would install desktop. Um, and then, like I said, the interface is very similar, so therefore the learning curve is very slim to none. You would just need um, some training to get you up to date on the new features, um, especially if you were an admin. But as a reviewer, um, it really isn't a learning curve. 
All right, great. Um, my next question is, are there any additional technical requirements or storage to required um, in moving to Concordance Desktop? Um, you still would want to probably have the same amount of storage as you have with um, 1021 if you are using Concordance 1021 because you definitely need the space for the actual application as well as where the databases are going to be stored and that would really determine on how large you anticipate your databases being. Um, that would pretty much determine how much space you would need to partition off whether you are saving your databases to just a regular um, network location, a drive, or if you have a server. So it would, I would definitely keep um, the same amount of space that you have with your traditional databases, but also take into account any new databases that you are going to start in Concordance Desktop, just the size of those databases, and that's going to determine how much extra space you will need. All right, great. And I think we have one final question. Um, how secure is this product? Concordance Desktop is very secure. Um, it's not because it's essentially it's not web based. Um, it is a it's a really it's a desktop program. So therefore, it's not going to be accessible outside of your firm unless you were maybe providing access to outside counsel or to someone that needed to actually be in the database. Otherwise, it is very, the connections are secure. Um, it connects to your, um, your internal ports, um, 443 and 10,001 are the two defaults. Um, so it connects to those two ports and definitely you would just, it, and it also can work behind your firewall. So you don't necessarily have to worry about making changes to your firewall in order for Concordance Desktop to work like you do with some other applications. So in terms of security, um, you are definitely fine with that as well as antivirus. All right, wonderful. Well, I think um, that's all the questions that it looks like we have for the session. So with that, uh, that concludes today's webinar, and I'd like to thank you, Courtney, once again for your expert advice on today's topic, and thank you to all of our attendees for taking the time out of your busy day to join us.